Finding actors in your level using C++ is pretty simple. But stay till the end to find out about things you should keep in mind. For finding actors in your level, you can make use of functions inside the U Gameplay Statics class. One way is to find actors based on a given class by using get all actors of class. The first parameter is the word context object in which the function looks for the actors. Next, you provide the class that the actors that will be found by this function should inherit from. And lastly, an array as a reference that will contain the actors found for the given class. As you may know, you can also add tags to your actors. If you want to find actors based on a specific tag, you can use get all actors with tag. Here, you also first have to provide the world context object, but as a second parameter, you have to provide the tag. And lastly, again, an array reference that will contain the found actors. You can also use get all actors of class with tag if you want to find actors that inherit from a specific class and also have a specific tag. Lastly, you can also search for actors that implement a certain interface by using get all actors with interface and then passing the interface that you are looking for as a second parameter to the function. From all of those methods, in the end, you have a t-array with the actors that were found. And that means you can easily iterate over them using a for each loop and then proceed as you like. However, if you want to find only one specific actor, for example, if only one instance of this actor class exists in your level, then you can use get actor of class which will return a pointer to the first actor that was found that meets the criteria. But be aware that all those operations mentioned before are slow, since they will iterate through all actors in your world and therefore you should not use them every frame, but only in certain scenarios. Or maybe even once and then store the reference of the array as a class member. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.